32 foot oil pattern by one pin. Bill O'Neill, former PBA Rookie of the Year, takes down the legend Hall of Famer Pete Weber, 222 to 221 to advance in the step ladder finals. And next up is the three seed, E.J. Tack, only 20 years old, going for his first career title. Dave right alongside P.J. Hall of Famer Randy Peterson. Good to be with you, buddy, on TV again. It's good to be with you again. It's been a while. And it this has. guy, he's only 51 years old. He still competes at a very high level. PBA 50 Tour champ in Dayton this year. Let's flash back a couple weeks, Randy. Take us through this great moment for you. Well, I hadn't competed in an, any kind of event for about six years, and I was in dead last after the first game. I worked on my rhythm, got some advice from Del Ballard over the phone, and this was the shot I needed to beat Amleto. How'd that feel to win again? It's been a while for you. It was incredible. It was incredible. What a great feeling. And, uh, you know, to, to, to be competing against Amleto and Bob Learn and, and Mike Edwards again, man, it, it just seemed like uh, like the old times. And, and being back out on tour when we were all so, uh, so competitive and just doing, doing some of our, our best bowling. Fantastic. Welcome Thank back you. to Winter Circle. Thank great you. Yeah, to see you, great. Peterson got another victory now. Uh, good match coming up here. Bill O'Neill by one pin over Pete Weber. E.J. Tackett is next. Does Bill have what it takes to run the ladder here? Well, without question, he's done it before in his career. You know, the difference in that last match ultimately was the gutter ball that Pete Weber threw. You know, if Pete Weber just spares there, he wins. Uh, E.J. Tackett has got his hands full. He's never been in this type of environment before. And even if he gets past Bill O'Neill, waiting for him after that is Norm Duke. Very tall order. However, I have been told through my sources that E.J. Tackett has some kind of sick mental game. He'll need it to get past the three guys waiting for him. Got to be pretty strong. Some big names ahead of E.J. Tackett, only 20 years old, trying for his first career PBA title. That match is coming up here from Milwaukee. Also a very special guest. NFL legend Terrell Owens will join us in the booth. Two step ladder finals from Milwaukee, and we are joined by Dallas Strikers team owner, NFL legend Terrell Owens, six time Pro Bowler, five time All Pro, 153 receiving touchdowns in your amazing NFL career. But you got a big interest in bowling, too. How'd that get started? Right, no, no titles in bowling. <laughs> as of yet. Nothing Not yet. yet. Nothing yet. <laughs> it's coming. Um, you know what? Uh, Chris Paul uh, has, has had his event a couple times in, uh, in L.A., and this year I attended. And, uh, you know, I, I like bowling. I know him back in 96 or 97, introduced me to it. And um, I've kind of just, you know, grown to love it. So over the years, I haven't been an avid bowler. But, um, you know, I'll get on the lanes from time to time. But since, the, uh, since Chris Paul's event back in uh, February, I've been on the lanes ever since. And how's your game right now? Um, it's all your practicing over there. Look pretty good on the practice pair. <laughs> no, this, this this pattern is tough. I didn't know too much <laughs> about it, but um, yeah, as you saw in the uh, the game before, uh, you know, uh, um, Pete Weber threw a gutter ball. So I mean, if he's throwing a gutter ball and, and as skilled as he is, that shows you how tough the lanes are. You have to be on your game, and um, you know, it happens sometimes. Well, let me let me just say this: Terrell is being way too modest. First of all, <laughs> I was watching him practice over there. And he's got two main ingredients I was that you have to have myself. to be successful. One, he's got a lot of ball speed. And two, he's got great hand. The rest is easy for Terrell to, to learn. He'll be winning tournaments soon. Have you enjoyed the experience of being a team owner? Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've learned a lot. And I'm still learning a lot. And so, you know, it's, it's been, like I said, a, a great experience. Terrell's going to stay with us here. Help us call this match. Second of the stepladder finals. All right. We'll back up. Taking on EJ Tackett, the youngster from Huntington, Indiana. Nice yeah. start. The number three seed recently won his first PBA regional title from Huntington, Indiana, E.J. Tackett. Will he become another Geico Summer Swing first time winner? Jake Peters did it already here in Milwaukee. Shot on TV, look out, goes high, almost crosses over Brooklyn. He'll take that. 
I mean, he's not even old enough to drink. What's he doing bowling on, on television for the first time? 20 years old. This kid's got a lot of game. He's got a lot of, a lot of moxie for a 20-year-old. But we've seen it time and time again. Your first ball ever on television is a scary place. I mean, think about it. Terrell, how about the first time you stepped out on uh, on an NFL field? I was just thinking about that. I was like, oh, man, I wonder if I caught my first ball on. Uh, I uh, bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, obviously it comes with a lot of practice, uh, repetition. And so this guy, uh, he seems unnerved. Um, he's going up there and uh, throwing that ball like he's like he belongs here. Terrell, by the way, 1,078 career NFL catches. So odds are you grab that first one. Arsenal Randy for EJ. What do you see here? Primal Rage. Lots of curve which is interesting because we're bowling on a very short pattern that has a lot of friction anyway. Yikes. Way high, big split. Yeah, not the way you want to start. Especially against a proven winner in Bill O'Neill. And this will make you nervous in a hurry. Seems like he's trying to play it safe a little bit. And, and that's very typical first time on television. You're trying not to make any mistakes, and it forces you into mistakes. Right. Being careful usually doesn't lead to good things. Spare ball. An open frame for the kid. You know, you know what would look really good? Segwaying from, from this match real quick. I'm a Dolphin fan. You got Mike Wallace on one side. You got Terrell Owens on the other side. <laughs> And you got Tannehill throwing it to T.O. for a touchdown. This is wishful hey, thinking hey, if hey. by chance this works out. Thanks Let, for the pub. <laughs> listen, I know that the GM is an avid watcher of bowling, and he needs to listen to me and get on the phone. Big strike, Bill O'Neill. Now, this is a difference between a seasoned veteran and a proven winner making a ball change, going to something that's a little cleaner through the front part of the lane, which then reacts harder down lane. Remember, the longer the bowling ball stores energy, the harder it's going to curve in the back part of the lane. Terrell, what impresses you most about watching professional athletes in this sport compared to football? Man, I mean, it's, there's really not a whole lot of difference. I think uh, just the, the mental aspect of it, I think that's it's probably in this sport, it's more mental than it is physical. So uh, that's what I've really gained from it. Shot. Plus, you don't have to worry about a solid nine pin coming out of the pit and hitting you in the head. <laughs> exactly. It better not. Bill O'Neill goes just a little bit high. Ball goes right past the nine pin, but he's in great shape early on. A spare here. He'll have a 23 pin lead. She diverts. The one thing you never want to do, though, is EJ Tack had got off to a bad start. It's it's only two frames in. Bill O'Neill gets off to a good start. You certainly don't want to get complacent. You give a guy like this an opening, or you wait for him long enough, he gets comfortable, and all of a sudden he starts stringing strikes, and next thing you know, you're watching the next game. All right. He's trying to make some adjustments. I can see that. Take a look at his style right here from the front. You can see that hand just snapping right at the bottom. His heel actually comes off of the ground. Watch that right there. Yeah. You can see it. And that's how he creates the speed and creates leverage. It's kind of like Tiger Woods' golf swing where he kind of gets down and then he stands up in the golf swing to create power. Well, obviously, using his body and his legs to create momentum and speed, not his arm. Pretty good match play record there, 11 and 5. So what's got to improve in your game right now? Bowling, that is. Um, just my spares. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the other part I can kind of adjust to, you know, moving with my feet and eyes. But um, most, of, most of all, just really just trying to work on my spares. Looks like EJ is adjusting now to the bright lights of TV for the first time in his career. Well, I, 
I'm not going to disagree with you, but I'm not going to say that one shot is going <laughs> to convince me of anything yet. He's going to have to string some strikes together before I'm convinced that he's comfortable. I promise you, this man here is comfortable. Lots of experience and four titles. Jonas, exactly that. All 10 to the back of the pit for Bill O'Neill. Other finishers, some big names. Part of the Geico Summer Swing, Jason Sterner from just outside Atlanta. We will see him. Ryan Simonelli has put together a couple very good years out of the Buffalo area. Legend Chris Barnes, future Hall of Famer without question. Multi titles for PA Patrick Allen as well. Double digit, double digit winner on the PBA Tour. Oh, get out of there. Number seven is out of there, Bill. All ten down. No. Terrell, as you know, when you're putting a good touch on the ball and it, and it hits the pins, the pin carry is good. Right, right. And, and again, you know, obviously there's some adjustments that has been made, and he's made those adjustments with ball change. Right. Instead of his feet. And that comes from experience. Exactly. That looked good. Okay. His there best ball of the day. All right, he's, he's getting get, warmer. He's getting comfortable. I told you he was getting a little comfortable, guys. He's getting warmer. I know it's just one strike. So doubles there to make things interesting. EJ's a very personal young man. He's also a plus two handicap golfer. Very good guy. I said plus two. Low <laughs> round is 62. Wow. Low round in comp competition, 64. I looked at him and I said, why are you bowling? You know how much money these PGA professionals are making? When he's not bowling, he's golfing. Cross-deck messenger takes out number 10. That was sweet. And he just handed Bill O'Neill his greeting card. <laughs> he almost fouled the one, the, 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 the frame before that. He kind of got that foot back. He's getting hot, Terrell. Terrell's going to stay with us in the booth. Call the rest of this match between EJ Tackett head-to-head -head with Bill O'Neill, the former collegiate golfer at IPFW. EJ's feeling it. He's getting hot. And things are getting interesting in Milwaukee. No bowling trip to Milwaukee would be complete without a visit to the Holler House. Founded in 1908, the Holler House, a tavern that houses the oldest certified bowling lanes in the U.S. The wood lanes actually manned by pin setters. The balls roll back to the bowler manually. Many of the players who bowled this tournament have stopped by the Holler House throughout the years. Real bowling landmark in a great bowling city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here's Ryan Randy Peterson and NFL legend Terrell Owens, owner of the Dallas Strikers, team bowling, avid bowler himself in the booth here in Milwaukee, watching stepladder match number two, Bill O'Neill trying to take out the rookie, the kid, EJ Tackett, only 20 years old. Seven count. Trust it. Three, six, ten. Didn't expect this, and neither did Bill O'Neill. 3-6-10. All of a sudden, things are starting to get a little more interesting. The spare here, it's a 10-pin match all of a sudden. Remember what I said earlier in this match. Good spare. Come on. He just backed up. Back up. He will strive for a four bagger. Let's see what he faces on this 32 foot pattern. As Bill told us yesterday, Randy, it's not easy. He's not bowled well on short patterns in his career. But he feels this could be a big step forward to win on a 32 footer like this. Because he's got to be versatile. And I, and I agree, but his breakout was earlier this season when he won on Cheetah. 
Now, this is a big shot, probably the biggest shot of his young career because he now has a chance to take the lead with two strikes. He's working on three in a row, striking the seventh, striking the eighth, he will have the lead. Yes, sir! And as you mentioned earlier in the, in the show that, I mean, he can open the door for this guy and this guy gets comfortable. You know, Bill may find himself watching. This is just a huge break. Oh, yes. Tripping the 4 7 10 out. Couldn't have come at a better time either. Chad Ed has made the trip to watch him bowl here on TV, and Ed is pretty pumped. Now, EJ has been on TV before the Indiana State Championships. That was high school. This is the big time. He won a 2009 Indiana High School individual state title and 2011 a team title. Tap in. Spare for EJ. We talked about the short oil pattern for Bill O'Neill trying to get success on a consistent basis with shorter oil. Second TV appearance this year. First earning of a title at the PBA Alka Seltzer Cold Cheetah Championship. 243 192 victory over tournament leader Mike Wolf. Bill started the championship match with seven straight strikes, earning him his fourth career PBA title. But that's his next step. First of all, all patterns, lengths, big strike. And, and I know that this is a sport, and it always has been, of what have you done for me lately, like a lot of sports. But let's not forget, Bill O'Neill is a past U.S. Open champion, and you don't win the U.S. Open by being a chump. I mean, you got to be able to have all the tricks, all the shots. You have to be able to repeat shots, make spares. You have to be able to bowl on arguably the toughest oil pattern we face. And not to mention, E.J. Tackett did not continue his string of strikes. Bill O'Neill was working on a strike and stepped right up and threw 10 in the pit to increase his lead to 11. Turkey. There and here we go, Terrell. What do you think about the conclusion of this match here? Uh, he's doing what a seasoned veteran does. I mean, he's stepping up to the plate. You make some mistakes, you make some adjustments, and, you know, he got two strikes back to back. Yeah, it's a great point. That's, that's what you expect out of veterans and guys with the experience of Bill O'Neill. Whoa! Channel! Oh, no. Second gutter ball today. Third, including mine over here in the practice session. <laughs> well, this, this just shoots dead right out of his hand real quick right. And he got into the, uh, the right channel pretty quick. And this is pretty much all she wrote for E.J. Tackett. That was that the first time, buddy? Well, he knows it. Comes back with obviously a much better shot here. This kid's fiery. He's got a lot of confidence. He throws the ball extremely well. He's got a lot of power and speed. And, uh, you know, given a little more time and experience, I think we might see a lot of this young man out here. Four pin stand for EJ. Recently won his first PBA regional title in Lorain, Ohio on May 18th. Team USA member of 2011, an interesting roommate combination this week. Yeah, he, he told us that he was rooming with Walter A. Williams Jr. <laughs> what do you think about that, Terrell? Uh, kind of the odd couple. 47 uh, titles. Absolutely. <laughs> the legend. They both met at uh, Team USA and prior to the summer swing, they, Walter A sent a text message to EJ asking if he had a roommate for, for the summer swing. Can you imagine? Oh, EJ man. said, no, I don't. And Walter A said, well, you do now. 
think of some of the all-time great NFL Hall of Famers sending you a text message. Hey, you want to be my roommate? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I mean, I'm trying to imagine that. You get a comparison there, but oh, that must have been special. Learn a thing or two. Right. I think it would have been equivalent to me, you know, being drafted with the 49ers, and and Jerry Rice asked me. You as know, a rookie, exactly. As, as a rookie, exactly. I don't know how I would have dealt with that. <laughs> yes, well, sir. <laughs> I, I, I can tell you, if I was the rookie and I got asked to root with Jerry Rice, I'd be like, "Heck yeah!" <laughs> Needs three for the win, which he does. And Bill O'Neill advances to the next round. Terrell's NFL legend, owner of the Dallas Cowboys team, Bowling. Great to see you. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks so much for your time. Absolutely. Terrell, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Love the insight. Terrell Owens. Love the bowling from Bill O'Neill. He continues to climb the ladder. Norm Duke, the legend with 37 titles, is next for Bill.